cool. So maybe this will do it because this is a really busy road. So this person and me are going to be making a right turn. So it's going to have to be stopped fully for a minute. Okay. Now we're stopped fully. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and today we're going over safety technology. Obviously, the main focus of the video is going to be the adaptive cruise control. I don't know why I'm showing the Raptor, but it's just force of habit. But anyways, the main thing we're going to be showing is adaptive cruise control, but then I'm also going to go over blind spot monitoring, lane departure assistance, and then the forward and rear collision assistance as well. Um, I'm going to be able to basically show all of them except for the rear and forward collision because I don't want to crash my truck, which I know it helps you not crash it, but at the same time, I just don't want to risk it, but I'll still go over it. So anyways, we're going to go over all of those things. In the first part of the video, I'm going to kind of explain everything, and then in the last part of the video, I'm actually going to drive the truck and kind of show you guys those things actually in action and how they work. The first thing I'm going to do is the collision assistance in the front and in the rear as well and essentially how this works is i had this happen all the time with the front sensor but basically all it does is let's say that you're going at a certain speed and the person in front of you starts to break or there's just like an obstacle that all of a sudden pops in front of you the truck gives you a warning and then if you keep going and you don't apply a certain amount of brake pressure then the truck will actually apply brake pressure um, by itself which is actually a really cool function so then if you're about to rear end someone it gives you a warning and then it starts applying brake pressure so in essence it essentially you know keeps you safe and it's a really really cool system again I'm not gonna test it out because I don't want to wreck my truck but trust me it's pretty cool it like flashes a warning right in the middle of the gauge cluster on the truck for the front collision warning and then for the rear as well the rear I actually turn off because it's super annoying um, what that's for if you guys are wondering you're like why would you have rear collision it's when you're like backing out of a parking space or like with this driveway backing up into the driveway, then it'll kind of like beep at you. So like this fence, for example, if I get too close to it, it what it would do is it beep at me and then it would slam on the brakes, which super annoying. So I turned it off. And the reason I turned it off is that system, if you're like have like little vines like this and stuff that I have, just like little things, they kind of just barely get into the way the system goes off all the time. And it's extremely annoying. I had it on my Ram Rebel and I turned it off and I have it on this truck and I've turned it off. So yeah, it's not something I use. The front collision assistance, I use that all the time, but the rear collision assistance, no, not my thing. I guess our little bonus thing is gonna be the parking sensors, which are extremely dirty. And these just beep at you and are about to hit in something. So we're actually gonna pop into the Raptor so I can kind of show you guys on this one. So if I turn on the Raptor, oh, music's gonna be on and we're about to get copyrighted. This happens in like every video. So uh, gotta get used to it. But anyways, I think we're good with the music. If I pop the truck into reverse, you hear that? That is the parking sensors, and you can see on the screen right there, it's illuminated telling me that I'm about to hit the fence. So again, another little safety thing on the Raptor. So we're back outside so I can kind of show the next one. That's the blind spot monitoring. So you can see in the corner of the mirror right there, have a little vehicle, and then there's a dot between them. That'll illuminate when someone is in the blind spot of the truck. Pretty straightforward. Most vehicles, you can have it just illuminate, or you can have it illuminate and chime. I just have it illuminate because the like little chime function on it is kind of annoying because it goes like, it, like just like a dinging sound, really frustrating. So I don't do it. Um, and then the next couple of safety features are obviously the ones that we're going to show in the video, which I'll try to show the blind spot monitoring with the GoPro. Um, but you've got the adaptive cruise control, and then you've got the lane departure assistance as well, which the button for that is right here with the lane departure assistance. So with the lane departure assistance, what that essentially does is it makes sure that you stay in between the lines. And if you basically move out of the lines with the truck, then it'll kind of like bump you with the steering wheel to keep you in the lines. Now you can have the more aggressive or less aggressive on most vehicles. Um, so like on the Raptor, I actually have it turned off all the time because it's another system that just annoys me. But you could have it so it like gives you like a light tug so it just notifies you, or you could have it so it like really tugs you. Um, some manufacturers like Chevy, it'll like vibrate the seat. So kind of an interesting thing to do on that. And then with the adaptive cruise control function on it, so that's just right here where you set all of that. And you guys will see that with the GoPro as well. Um, what that does is it's like a follow function with the cruise control. So let's say that you're driving down the highway and you're going and you have the cruise control set at 80 miles an hour and you have adaptive cruise control on. And then someone pulls in front of you and they're going 70 miles an hour now most people with regular cruise control you've got to turn off the cruise control because then you'll just hit into the back of them with adaptive cruise control it'll lower its speed to match their speed there's just like a radar sensor on the front of the vehicle so then it'll lower your speed to match the other person's speed 
and then if they speed up then it'll speed up but you it only goes as fast as what you set it at so if you set it at 80 miles an hour you'll only go up to 80 miles an hour even if the person in front of you is going 90 miles an hour but it'll always go down to whatever speed that they're at if that makes sense okay so hopefully i explained all of those uh systems pretty well i'm going to show you guys quickly on the touch screen um at least with the raptor like how to adjust those but after i do that then let's just set off so then I can just show you how the systems work. The adaptive cruise control is pretty easy. All you have to do is just press on with it. And then you'll see in the center screen, you can see a little cruise control icon there. And then um, after that, then you just press this little set button here. And then once you press the set button, obviously it says I'm too low of speed to do it. Um, but then you can increase and decrease the uh, miles per hour with those two buttons. And then this one will decrease the distance, whereas that one will increase the distance. And you can see when I press those buttons, there's that little distant marker right there. You can see that that increases or decreases. So that is with the adaptive cruise control. Lane departure assistance, you essentially just press this button right here. And then you can see, it'll show you how it's on. You can see there's little markers on the side. So if I turn it off, you can see there's no markers. If I turn it on, you can see that there's markers there on the side. And then finally to adjust all of it, it's right over here on the truck. So you can see I have it, um, you can see if it's turned on or off, you've got the driver alert, rear park aid, all that kind of stuff. This is just with the parking sensors, I believe, because I haven't had any collision um, on it. But you can see that all of here is where you actually adjust all of the safety tech on it. But with that, let's set off and see how it actually functions. So we're just about to get on the interstate. And if you guys are wondering why I'm filming this so late in the day, I actually purposely filmed this around rush hour so that you guys could kind of see how all these systems perform in I guess the worst circumstances when it's the busiest traffic wise um, but you guys can see the lane departure assistance in the gauge cluster if you can't see it's illuminated green on both sides so it's letting me know that I am in the right place but as soon as I start to go over the line it gets red and it the steering wheel isn't actually turning at all so I guess that Ford's doesn't turn <laughs> like my Ram did um, it just kind of is vibrating the steering wheel so I guess Chevy vibrates the seats Ford vibrates the steering wheel. That I am actually behind someone. We're gonna hit set on the adaptive cruise control. And now I'm gonna set the adaptive cruise control to a ridiculous speed. I'm setting it to 80 miles an hour, which obviously is way above the speed limit and way faster than we're going. And you can see right here, I hopefully you guys can see, I'm gonna pull my feet back as far <laughs> as I can. The adaptive, or sorry, the lane departure assistance going off, but the adaptive cruise control is now matching the speed of this uh, Audi in front of me. So now I have it set at 80 miles an hour, and I'm only going 46 miles an hour. And it's braking and going up to speed. It's just doing everything that the car in front of me is doing. And now if I try to take my hands off the steering wheel, I drift and it doesn't turn, it just kind of vibrates the steering wheel. So now you can see that Audi left and now I have a gap. So now the adaptive cruise control is going to accelerate. I Again, I have it set at 80 miles an hour, so it's gonna keep accelerating until I get up to the distance of this person. Now I'm gonna have to decrease the speed so I don't break the speed limit here, guys. <laughs> just saying. But yeah, now you can see it's just going over 70 miles an hour and now the distance marker that I set with the vehicle now, it's kind of matching. You can see this car's braking, so it's slowing down again with the system. Um, the next test I want to try out is see how easy it is to change lanes with this system on. So I am going to change lanes now. And yep, it instantly pretty much, yeah, so now it's like instantly following. I'm gonna do it again. So now that I've changed lanes again, I mean, it's just right up with where I'm supposed to be. And yep, 75 is what I set it at. And then the next thing I wanna show you guys is actually the blind spot monitoring, if I can show it to you. Yep, you can see the blind spot monitoring's illuminated because that person's in my blind spot. Sorry, it's kind of hard to turn since the GoPro's on my head. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's how all the safety tech works. And I mean, it all works relatively well. I mean, it all works pretty, pretty good together. The last thing I wanted to attempt to show you guys is right now I have the adaptive cruise control on and I'm actually in town, but I want to show you guys how it goes to a complete stop. So hopefully I hit a traffic light up here soon. So then it'll go to a complete stop essentially. And then you guys can kind of see how the system functions. Oh, this person's making a turn. So this might be perfect. 
Let's see. Yep, you can see now it's braking hard, almost to a complete stop. And then it'll start up again. Oh, cool. So maybe this will do it because this is a really busy road. So this person and me are going to be making a right turn. So it's going to have to be stopped fully for a minute. Okay. Now we're stopped fully. Okay. And you can see it says stopped right there. And I think it takes another second or maybe that's a function. Yep. You have to press RES to be able to go again. So that's what I was telling you guys is you have to press RES to be able to go again after you've been stopped for a moment. Well, I just got back and it's super dark, so we're having to use the uh, headlights so you guys can even uh, physically see me. But if you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe, comment down below what you thought. I'll see all of you in that next video.